Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com and today we are going to unbox the Motorola Droid Razor. Let's get to it. All right, so here we see the box of the Motorola Droid Razor. Almost square, has a nice Motorola Droid eye in front, very clean sides here. Up at the top, we've got some barcodes, some Verizon and Motorola branding on each side of the box, right there and over on that side as well. The back has some very brief information about the phone. And let's go ahead and slide this off. It's a sleeve like most other Motorola phones are. Looking at the box itself, you've got the nice embossed Droid Razor on the front, again with the branding on the sides. The top and bottom both have the Verizon 4G LTE branding. And then on the back is surprisingly blank. There's nothing at all there. Very clean look, and I like it quite a bit. Opening this up, uh, well, let's look at it. At first, the thickness, it's very, very thin. A little bit wider than most boxes that we're used to, uh, to fit all the stuff, but thin, reminiscent of the phone that's inside of it. So, taking the lid off, we can see inside, and yes, it's upside down, but you will get the point here. Nice little tab to help you take out the phone. We'll set that aside for a minute. And then let's look at what we have. We've got the manuals, master your device, important consumer information, product safety and warranty information. And then we also have this neat little booklet called Consumer Information about Radio Frequency Emissions and Responsible Driving. Basically, don't sue us if you get cancer or crash while using this. We've also got a uh, micro USB cable, nothing out of the ordinary there. But then we have this nice charging brick, if you will. Go ahead and open that because it's not like the others we've seen. First of all, it's a cube, which is a little bit unusual. It also has these fold-up prongs. Now, this is a U.S. device, so it has U.S. prongs that fold up and down for traveling and storage. Very nice. I like that quite a bit. But on the front, you'll notice there are two USB ports rather than the, uh, the one. So if you've got another USB device, another phone, say for a spouse or a Bluetooth headset, you can plug it in there and won't have to worry about it. Very nice. And then just the uh, empty box there as well. Let's go back to the phone. Now this isn't a molded thing, it's just a folded piece of uh, paper. It's very nice, but holds the phone securely. We'll move that out of the way. The phone itself has a, uh, a very nice screen cover on it that does more than just protect the screen during packaging and shipping. It's got all these different uh, information points on it. Up at the top you've got your HDMI port, your micro USB port, and then of course your headphone headset jack as well. Very light in the hand. You'll notice how thin it is here. It's got the bump on the top, which feels very nice underneath the index finger, but ridiculously thin. Uh, it's got a Kevlar backing on it to give it some strength, but compared to the Droid Bionic here, you can see just how thin this phone is. It's a little bit longer and a little bit wider, much lighter weight, uh, and just very, very, very thin, uh, ridiculously thin. The thing feels nice in hand. It looks nice. Uh, overall, it's an impressive unit, the Motorola Droid Razor.